Good morning, good morning, you beautiful people out there. It's a beautiful day here in Guyana again. Welcome back to our channel, Best Cooking and Adventure. Today we're on a, a little fishing trip, boating. We're heading out to the, um, in the creek, heading out to the beach. We don't know how that will work out, but join us in a little adventure. So first we have to take this boat back to the creek. Um, they had brought it out to do some repairs and stuff on it. So they have to take it back into the creek. So I will show you how they usually move the boat and set it up to go back into the creek. So it will, it will be a nice, looks like it will be a nice day today, a hot day. So join us in a little adventure. That's a boat right there. So we got in the boat here now into the, into the canter truck. Load it up here now and take it to the creek. So we don't have, we got a boat in there, camper already. Yeah. Get into the creek. This here is a creek. I have a spot here where we we take down the boat right here. We already got it right in where we want it to be. Launching of the boat. Wait, go. I'm going to 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 go. I'm 
And that's the launching of Rambo. Rambo give a hard time. Is a Rambo? That last blood, last blood. This Rambo take life. <laughs> and that's the launching of Rambo. Loading the ice to go into the fishing boat. Check on Luffy here. Four legs. This is the ice bin there. That's where the ice are made right here. This is the ice bin. And they bag it out here. They go into the fishing boat to pull their ice boxes to, to the fishing. Right there. The ice even gets on your foul. Oh, yeah. Are you buying some ice here? fishery area here. We need to go in this area here. So we're in here. We're leaving out now. Yeah captain. Uncle Sonny and Sue are at the back there. Yeah 40 and 20 at the back. To me. Yeah. So this is a six, six click. That's a bridge there. So we under we came to uh, the came out under the bridge. This is it right here. This here lead you out to the um, to the beach. <laughs> this is how we do it, see? Setting up the net there. Oh, the rope, the rope, the rope the net. So this is how Guyanese we do it now, Guyanese fishing in the creek. Hope we get some catch today. So this here brings back a lot, lot of memory. We used to always do this. We, we, we scarcely buy fish. This we always I always catch our fish right here. I'm most, mostly catfish and mullet and uh, cuffum and those kind of fish. So this is how we usually do it, see? So this will be our first tool here now. Here we go. Cast net fishing.
the tide is not in our favor because um, it, it, the water is running really, really hard right now. What happened this one? Look how we got in our first tour here. The smoke has to. Also, we call it the big head has to, right? Here it is. Right there, that's our first catch. A little fish in there, so you're going to throw those back in. So we usually catch some huge, some really huge catfish in here with the cast net. We call it the, the coras type, the coras. We really got to catch some huge ones in here. Like I want to be caught like eight. So hopefully we can get a big one here today to show you guys. You don't need hooks to catch. Huge catfish here, we do it with cast nets too. So, see this here? Look at this. This is why we go home today, this is when I make some nice choka. So this little piece here, this little piece here. So they put the wharf here, the, the, the um, not the wharf, the, what do you call this again? The, um, the pal off. To help from this, uh, this, this dam and everything to erode, erosion, prevent erosion. But there's a dam here. And they washed away, it used to wash away, so they do this here to help prevent erosion. A long time we didn't come in here so we don't know where the, the trees are in the creek so just making a try there I'm gonna speed hold back no no Second catch. Then I try the fish here. The type of fish. So we are about to get to the um, the 65 coca here. The sluice. This is a rakasa. Yeah. And they got a little rakasa there too. Things start coming in there, but we gotta start on him. We have a tarp on there. So this is the entrance there to the 65 coca, the six slows. These are some new. Thing they build here, some new um, a new fishery stuff with uh, like the store scene and boat, oh, boat dock. Look at that one. 
I'm gonna jump over the usual. Oh, oh, oh. You see it here, guys. For sand fishing here. Can't get better than that. And fresher than that. I got fish. Yeah, this, this area is um, the white coca. I got the white coca here. Over here, we don't have far more to get to the beach. Look at that. Look at this catch. Only thing that's on lots of woods in there, but look at these catfish here. Look at this one true. This couple catfish here. Just got it coming here. So we're getting things, we're getting things. There's a nice catfish, some tarpon, some tiger fish. Things going, things going. Cast net fishing, Guyanese cast net fishing, guys. And there you have it in front there, as you can see there. The mouth of the Atlantic Ocean. Have your captain there. No engine, guys. Oars, paddle. See there? What's your head? What's your head? Lean, lean coming through. I'm gonna hold up here a little bit here for a while, you know. So we stop out here at the beachfront. To the 66 Creek. Lead all the way here out. And here, that's the. Mouth of the Atlantic Ocean in front there. Sorry, now is the other way over. It's a beach, guys. We stop and get to some shade out here. Sip a couple cold things. Cool down. But we don't have engine, so we depend on the tide. So we're waiting on the tide to go back in. We're waiting for the washing tide and we will paddling back so look at this guy look at this view I just say it's six creek and from the fishery to the bridge here comes all the way out here and it's falling tight so the water is way back and look what we got in here I might get some cool things up here man look we're going at the bottom there. For 592. So we're gonna cool down. We might relax it, take in a smoke and thing, you know. So the tide has turned now. As you can see the water swelling up and it, so it's got it like you know washing tide. So we're heading back in. The guys are packing up the boat there. So this is the mouth of the 66 Creek. This is where all the fishing boats are all coming right in and right here. So we're heading back in. Now you can see one out there. A couple of the boat, the boat them there waiting for the tide to come in. So we headed back in, heading to Home Stretch Avenue. But we'll be fishing some while, you know, casting nets while we go in and still, you know. 
But this is the style you need really to cut the fish. So you see the water like you call it jack tide, it's not really it's not really wash or you're not gonna hide or low like right in between. There you go. Casting the net out. And you know place hot so you know what? We sipping some cool 592 in the meanwhile. Mm-hmm. Cheers, fellas. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's one of the fish in ground there. You don't really get nothing there. Alright, so we still keep going in. <coughs> Heading in. Sipping away. See them guys there sipping away and paddling. See the captain there, look. Forty horsepower, you know. So we back. What was that? What was that? from this place. See there, tarp and just wave up there. So we back at the 65 coke, you can see it. 65 coca. So this here is usually a deep spot that we, you know, is a fishing brown that we always um, target every time we, we like, come in the creek. But, you know, it's been a while since since the high mark come, you know, the excavators come and they did some work here, a lot of trees and everything in the creek. So it's kind of new now, again, after a while. Here you can see the Five sous cooker right there. Wow. Look, look at look at the tarp and turning over there. Yeah normally we get some nice basha and stuff here. That you know what? Do I go in the piece there? So we back out here almost. You know what you back? Yeah, so we back out at the fishery here. You can see all those boats right here. So we had a fun a fun trip so far. We didn't catch as much as expected, but hey, we still did well. We came for the fun. So these are the, um, are the fishery here, the 66 fishery. All the boats here in the docking. <laughs> yeah, so we back out here now. Oh. Are we got our bags there? The guy's doing some boat repairs here. Walking hard, right? Hey, hey. Are you painting? All right, guys, look at our catch here. We got some catfish, we got the tarpon, couple tarpon, cofon, couple tiger fish. So we didn't do too bad. We still, we still had a fun time and enjoyable time. So all in all, it was worth it. We had some good fun, but just the, the sun was a bit hot, but hey, it is Guyana, so. See our weapon in there? Those are the cast them that we use. Well, you only use two of them. That's a, one of them, there's a new one they didn't use as yet. But we had fun. We back home now and relaxing. And I can't tell you how good I feel being under the shade. 
That was the Son, the Father, and the Holy Ghost. Everything was there in one. Oh, man. So we back. So these catfish here now, what we plan to do, we're going to cut them up. But well, my dad going to cut them up, and uh, we're going to be making some saltfish. Smoked fish, saltfish, you know? Stuff for us to take back. Yeah, you don't get these um, kind of smoked fish over there. So look what we got going on here already. Light up the fire, the fire side here. And everybody get a tarp and roasting up here. This cough them. We're gonna make some choker. Huh? Buy let me tell you, this thing is one of the best cutters, this roast. Tarpon, man, I can't explain how sweet this is. I like I can eat this every day. That's why every time we go fishing, we always like either that or the hurry or something. We we roast some of the fish and make some of the um you know the choker. It's man, it's good. You guys should try this out. See there? Less than an hour ago, this guy, this cut fellas, this was swimming in the creek. See how we have them here on the fire side. And then before the next half hour, guess what? They're gonna be on a plate. And we're gonna be sipping some cold ones and having, you know. Oh man. Guyana is good, you can't, you can't punish, really. Once you, you could, you know, do stuff, catch your little fish, plant your little garden. It's just, just the bills, yeah, it's hard to, you know, take care of sometimes, but... Yeah. This year, somebody has it we catch a couple days back. This will be my lunch. And my lunch right here. We having a late lunch because we came late from, from the fishing trip. Yeah. Pasta, boy, look at this. Mm-hmm. Papa did. See me there? Look. See, Guyana has are like smaller than the Florida has are, but it's always sweeter. Right here. Mm-hmm. Some good hassle. Florida hassle is good too, but um, you know, a little sweet taste with the, um, the guy, and I want that's a little difference. Look at this guy, look at his hassle size, right? And look at his egg. Oh man. This is a huge egg in this hasta. Mm-hmm. Well, one of my favorite thing. Hasta egg. Mm -hmm. My wife loves it. I just give her a call and tease her with it. She loves hasta egg. It's very tasty. You guys should try it. this guys Guyanese Guyanese Chinese fried rice the chicken fried rice and that's the the Chinese special we get this one right here this we're gonna use us now but this arm um, we prepare it put it in ziplock to, to freeze to take it back but this is the extent we Guyanese people have to go to just get the taste back of the, you know, the, the Guyanese, Chinese. You know, no, none, no restaurant, no anywhere over there in, in, in USA, like, com compared to the Guyanese, Chinese. None can class that. So you see, so you see the, um, the extent where we have to go. And my wife, my mother, and all of them love it, so, hey, 
We have to take it for them. You know the ladies, as they say, happy wife, happy life. You have to please them. Okay. I've got the finished product here. This is the um the tiger fish. This is the coffin. See the goodness there? Lots of onion, peppers, lime juice. Mmm. I'm just drooling looking at them here. Having a taste of the coffin first. See it there? Get me a nice onion and pepper them. Trying to get this pepper here, man. Yeah. See this here? Mm-hmm. Good thing, good thing. You know what? Let me take one with this. You see the goodness here? Got the goodness here. And the coffee, man. I'm gonna do the um, the tiger fish one out this. Give me pepper and the onion and everything there. Them guys just got married back. Good job, good job. You guys need to try this out. Look at this. Look at the goodness here. The best cutter. Try it out and let me know. Later on, you know, what's gonna be happening, bro. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting us. And you guys have a, a good day. Stay safe as usual. Keep all precaution. You know, sanitize when necessary, wear masks when necessary. And you guys have a great day. Peace out.